friends and good morning. It's 7.20 on December 5th. It's Tuesday. Tuesday all day. Um, what do we have going on today? I don't know what we have going on today. Do we want to go ahead and do Advents? Let's do Advents. Okay, it's so on day five. My jacket's in the way. Uh-oh. Oh, hell. Pause for technical difficulties. There it is. Oh! Holy guacamole. Okay. J5. Pretty twisted yarns. Okay. The dogs are being silly out on the porch. They're chasing each other. So if you can hear any of the giant clomping, it sounds like two horses running up and down the porch. That's what it is. Ooh, you got another orange. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I want to say this is very close to her safety dance, but it looks like there's some yellow in there. It's kind of hard to tell. Like down here. Ooh, down here is where I see it the most. So let's put this one in our row. Which you can't see because I'm in the way. There you go. Oops. There we go. So we've got December 1st. I'm just gonna take this, put it somewhere else. There we go. It's got December 1st through December 5th. And let's go into the magic cauldron. Oh, it's neat. me. Oh, look at the little pug. He's so cute. Okay, let's see what we got. Ooh, that's pretty. Like a dusty mauve. And we don't have any notes on this one, so. Stop focusing on my face camera. That's pretty. It looks like it's got some brown are those tweed? I think that might be, that looks like a little net right there. Isn't that what it's called? Right there. I think it might be a tweed. Hmm. Interesting. So there's day five from my stash rent. Let's stick it in the bucket. Okay, on the agenda today. Work. I gotta go up to Goodwill to drop off a couple boxes. Um, just shit that we've collected in the house that we need to get rid of. Um, I've got to call and schedule a dermatology appointment because I have spots on my neck. You can't really see them here. They're pretty bad. And they don't go away. So, it's time we figure out what's going on with my spots. As fun as they are to have. So, and then I gotta call the school system to figure out what is going on with our IEP meeting, um, evaluation meeting. So, they have not contacted me back. I'm getting a little concerned. Kindergarten registration is in February, so I feel like we're on a timeline. I have a very short timeline in order to get this stuff done. Um, so basically, what happened in, after October, when I had the meeting with, um, daycare, is we did, like, Handsome Devil and I just like grinded down and it was, we, we did a lot of research on SPD, which is sensory processing disorder. And so I reached out to the pediatrician and was like, Hey, help. This is, this is bad. This is getting worse. And so, um, she, you know, she did a consult with us and, you know, watched his behavior for about 45 minutes and referred us to, uh, developmental pediatrics. So I called over there after a couple weeks because I hadn't heard anything on our referral. They have an eight month wait time. He would start school in August. We can't wait eight months for a diagnosis um, if it's something else like autism. So what I have heard from other moms in the area is that SPD won't get you an IEP, but something like autism will, even if it's on the spectrum. Apparently, SPD is not recognized by the school systems yet, which is bullshit, in my opinion, because I know a lot of kids who have SPD. Um, 
or who have some sort of sensory processing issues. So dealing with that, um, that's probably the biggest anxiety on me right now. But the good news is we have seen drastic changes in Mr. Atticus over the past month. Drastic. We're using his earmuffs. We got him a set of big earmuffs for daycare. If he gets overwhelmed, he can put them on. And it's gone from him asking the teacher if he can wear them to him keeping them in the cubby. So he has enough responsibility to keep them in his cubby and he can go get them when he needs them. And she said that he's using them a lot and he's participating in class. So Radar's barking at me to come in. So I'll let him in a minute. So we have seen positive changes, but this is probably my biggest biggest anxiety right now is getting this this meetings these two meetings one with the school system one with developmental pediatrics so yeah Tuesday right okay um oh can I talk about my emotional support chicken for a minute this pattern is so much fun um thank you Andy for putting this chicken along or it's emotional chicken along I can't remember what our hashtag is but I finished the first tail section last night. Yeah, look at that marl. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, and then I started on the second tail section, which is a little darker because I changed, ended up changing colors. Uh, I ran out of, I already plowed through two mini skeins and I'm getting ready to finish two more. So I still got my main, that one's still going. So yeah, this is a great mini buster pattern, but this is so much fun. I love wrapping turns. I forget how much fun wrapping turns are. And this is actually a really good pattern. If you've never done short rows, this would be a great pattern to learn short rows. Super easy. The pattern's really well written. Um, so check it out. I did post on my grid yesterday. Um, if this comes out tonight, yesterday, yesterday. Um, the Knitting Tree LA Emotional Support Chicken. It's worth the weight. Size seven needles. Cakewalk. I'm telling you, come chicken along with us. Right now, I think that there are me, Andy, Belinda, who is uh, Friday Ketchup, and who else is doing? Angela, I think, who is Balls of Twine. Um, I think Angela said she was going to do one too. And then I'm like, I'm so close to convincing Amber, who's Amber Marina, to cast on a chicken with us too. All right, I've talked enough. I'll uh, check back in later. Bye, guys. Hey, friends. It's about 1.25. Um, Nicole did something really stupid. I was bringing some of the presents that I have wrapped down into the house. We have a detached garage that has, like, a loft at the top. And it's just enough space for me to um, wrap presents and then bring them down. Because we don't have enough space to, like, hide presents and stuff inside the house. Um... So I was bringing them down in like a tub and it wasn't that heavy, but the stairs are extremely steep and I misstepped on the second to bottom stair and twisted my ankle. So I've got the adrenaline pumping right now. I can feel a little twinge and I can feel it starting to swell. So I've got my foot up and I'll start icing it here in a few minutes. But the other stupid thing is, the other stupid thing that I did, I had to rip back a bunch on my second chicken tail. This is part of the tail. I had missed a stitch in the cable cast on. And so um, I, I tanked back like four or five rows, I think. Um, which was, it's totally worth it. And make sure that it's right. And I wanted to make sure it matches up the first side. Um, I'm in love with this pattern. It's so relaxing. I could just I could just sit here and do this and talk to you guys for an hour or more. Like last night, I just put on the tablet. I put Vlogmas on the tablet, and um, like I, I think it was Akira who's knitting Annihilator. Um, I just like sat there and knit while Handsome Devil watched hockey, and the kids were in bed, and like I just I was just enjoying the night. It was great. Um, so I think I might do that again tonight. It is knit night and I just, depending on how bad the ankle is, I'm hoping it's not, you know, serious, but 
Um, we'll see. I may go. I may not. I don't know. I'm just not feeling it right now. I kind of want to stay home and um, just chill and not do anything. I think we're going to have French toast and sausage for dinner. So there's that. Everybody loves breakfast for dinner. So, yeah. Um, I'll check in a little later. I'll probably post a couple pictures of progress on this. Just because... Okay, so here was the the moral on the first one. There's a lot of natural lighting, so this is actually really good. So that's the first one. And then the second one... Um, I actually had to switch skeins because I, I went through the first two 10 gram balls that I had in this one and so I got this one which just got a little bit of pink and brown I'm not sure it's like a maybe it's mauve and then this pretty variegated uh sparkle yarn uh, sparkle blue and then I'm still using this one so it's giving me all kinds of sea chicken vibes. So hopefully I can finish this guy tonight and I can seam them together. That would be awesome. So yeah, we'll see how far I get on my, my chicken. It's probably gonna end up being the Christmas chicken just because I'm dating it during December. Oh, I dropped the one part. All right, be back later.